recently talagang tinatanong niyo ako kung ginagamit ko pa ba or why did I stop using it if I did? What's up fam? It's Christine here. Welcome to Just Christina. So you clicked on this video because you're very interested to find out about Fresh Skin Labs Tomato Glass Skin Sun Gel and Water Drop Cream and the reasons why I've stopped using them. So in this video, that is what we're going to talk about and if you want to know, just keep watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification button so that you can be part of my family. Fresh Skin Labs Tomato Glass Skin Sun Gel and Water Drop Cream are two of the bestest products they've ever had. People were buying it from Watson's and of course I'm a Watson's fan so I bought them and tried them out and I did my reviews actually if you haven't checked them out you can see the links in the description box below during the time they were using it. Just a little bit of information, the Tomato Glass Skin Sun Gel is for protecting your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. While the water drop cream is a cream to toner consistency moisturizer for the skin and it also has vitamin and see which helps protect your skin from damage and it also lightens up your complexion. Chika ko lang guys ha, chika ko lang from the very beginning so that you will understand where I'm coming from. So unang unang ginamit ko yung sun gel and the very first time na ginamit ko siya, yung experience ko was that nagkaroon ako ng red spots all over my face and I don't know why but first I was kind of hesitant kasi akala ko ayaw talaga ng skin ko. Just so you know, yung skin ko is sensitive, oily and meron yung area sa face ko na dry. That time, nung binili ko yung sun gel and also the water drop cream. So I almost stopped using it the very first time na ginamit ko siya but then sabi ko this is not the first time na nangyari to with the product so I'm gonna try out and just give it a chance. So tinray ko talaga for a couple of days na ginamit ko siya consistently and yun na nga eventually my skin started feeling hiyang towards the product so hindi na nagre red spots yung face ko. So I started using the sun gel and so far naman yung mga times na yun sobrang nagustuhan siya ng skin ko and I actually used it along with the water drop cream. So hindi pa nakakapag-try sa inyo ng Tomato Glass Skin Sun Gel. It's actually very lightweight. You put it on your face 15 minutes before ka lalabas or before ka magkakaroon ng sun exposure because that will protect your skin. That is one of the things I like about it kasi 15 minutes lang, usually diba, 30 minutes or so ilagay mo sa face mo bago ka lumabas. But that's probably the quickest ever um, sun protecting product I've ever tried in my life. So I was really pleased with that. Pawisin talaga ako. So when I use something on my face, talaga, it has to be so lightweight. Let's talk about the water drop cream naman. The water drop cream is, it starts as matte texture. When you look at the cream itself, matte talaga siyang tingnan. But as you massage it on your face, it's going to turn into liquid. Yung water drop cream, yung difference niya from the sun gel was that yung water drop cream, as soon talaga na dalagay ko siya sa face ko, naglalighten up yung complexion ng face ko. I don't know why, pero probably because of the vitamin C that's in the water drop cream, which isn't in the sun gel. Di ko alam kung mahita niyo dito. So for me, it was such a help, especially sa under eyes ko, kasi yung eye bags ko nung the dark na talaga as I'm growing older. So when I use the water drop cream, that really helped alleviate that. Over time, use really lightened up the complexion of my face. Now, both of them na gustohan ko. And again, if you haven't seen my review on those two, you need to check out the description box ko. Nandiyan yung links to those videos. Recently, talagang tinatanong niyo ako kung ginagamit ko pa ba or why did I stop using it if I did. So, ito yung mga reason kung bakit I stopped using Fresh Skin Labs Tomato Glass Skin Sun Gel and Water Drop Cream. First of all, yung water drop cream muna. So, we all know that our skin changes from time to time, right? Or is that just me? But dati kasi sobrang oily ng skin ko when I was younger. And then it changed to combination skin. And then at present, napapansin ko na mas dry yung skin ko. And I don't even know what's going on but I drink a lot of water every single day. So I'm trying to figure out kung ano yung nakakakos. But maybe it's just a natural process of the skin. Part of aging I guess. But napapansin ko sa face ko na parang more on the dry side na siya kasi sa oily side. I feel ko parang ang dry lang talaga ng skin ko. Hindi naman siya yung tipong sobrang tight. But alam niyo yun, yung parang hindi na nagpaproduce masyado ng oils or sebum or something like that, whatever you call it. So, yun yung one of the biggest reasons kung bakit ako nag-stop mag-use ng water drop cream. Kasi for some reason, napapansin ko na mas nagre-react yung skin ko sa water drop cream. I don't know what it is about the product na nag-cause sa akin na mag-trigger ng ganun. Unlike nung first experience ko with the sun gel, 
Now, at first few uses, nagkaroon ako red spots and then eventually they went away. For this one, for the water drop cream, parang napansin ko talaga hindi na nagustuhan ng skin ko no matter how I try. So, I, I did some cycle like I would use it every single day, then I would stop using it. I would use it every other day kasi baka nasobraan lang yung pag-use ko. But then, wala. Ayaw talaga niya. So, I just decided to stop using it for good. But, mind you, that's just my own experience. And, iba-iba kasi yung skin natin. Iba-iba yung reaction ng skin natin. Iba-iba yung skin type natin. So, what happened to me might not happen to you. So, I'm just simply sharing my experience. And, that's something you have to watch out or just you know, double check. Pero kung okay naman sa inyo, there's no problem. Just keep using it. This is just me sharing my experience and the reason why I stopped using them. For the sun gel naman, I kind of felt like it wasn't necessary for me to use it anymore. Kasi for one, I hardly get to see the sun ever since nag move. Ayun, I really don't get a lot of sun exposure. And then, Yung setup din ng aming apartment, hindi siya pinapasok ng sun as much. For a couple of months, I stopped using it and I almost, almost got rid of it. But then, I just decided one day, nung time na parang I got so encouraged about getting some sun again, because nga, yun, always ako matamlay. Parang akong gulay every single day when I'm working so hard and I don't get the sun. Or pag hindi maganda yung weather, talagang I feel under the clouds. I tried using it again. And hanggang ngayon, Actually, ginagamit ko pa rin siya. But, based sa question nyo kasi, kung everyday pa rin ba, no, I don't use it every single day anymore. I just use it when it's necessary to use it. But, hindi na siya part ng skincare routine ko every single day. My skincare routine actually had gotten so much simpler because I'm a very busy person and medyo masakitin din ako. So, I don't really have all the time in the world. But, when the need arises, I do still use my Fresh Skin Lab Tomato Glass Skin Sun Gel. But, the water drop cream, hindi ko na talaga siya ginagamit. That is the answer to your question if you have been wondering. So, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and be part of my family. We are about to hit 2,500 subscribers. I'm eyeing on the 3,000 goal of subscribers to do my next giveaway. So, keep an eye on my channel and stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!